Hey everybody, it's Gabe. I'm in my car. <laughs> so today I'm going to be talking about a book called All Be Gone in the Dark. So uh, if you are a fan of the comedian Patton Oswalt, you may know about his wife's passing away, like her untimely death. Uh, the author of All Be Gone in the Dark is a woman named Michelle McNamara, who is in fact Patton Oswalt's uh, wife. Um, you know, she she passed away, unfortunately, due to a, a heart condition that she didn't know that she had. But when she passed away, she was in the middle of writing, well, almost done with writing this book, All Be Gone in the Dark, which is a true crime book about uh, a murderer named the Garden State Killer. Uh, he was also known as the East Area Rapist. Uh, and basically, he murdered 10 to 12 people and uh, raped upwards of 50 people uh, from the 60s all the way through until the 80s. So this case like spanned decades. It was all over the state from like San Clemente all the way, I mean, just all over the state. Uh, mostly like kind of central Northern California from what I can tell. I'm not super familiar with California, so. But uh, what's fascinating about it is uh, McNamara has spent a, spent a lot of years working on this particular cold case. She also had a blog called uh, True Crime Diaries where she would write about other different cases, but this was by far like her, her deepest obsession, her deepest rabbit hole, like the thing that she was delving into absolutely the most. Um, at the time of her passing, uh, she was fairly close. It seems like about two thirds done with the book. Uh, and kind of as a testament to her, uh, her husband, Patton Oswald, you know, felt the need to make sure that it got finished. So with the help of another writer and then one of the researchers that was helping Michelle on the book, uh, they, they ended up finishing the book. Um, <clears throat> fascinatingly enough, shortly after her death, uh, a man was, uh, arrested for the crimes finally after you know decades of inactivity uh, much like the BTK killer he was caught because of DNA evidence that uh, effectively was unavailable at the time of his crimes and over time you know as technology got better that technology caught up with him uh, it's a fascinating look at how somebody becomes obsessed with these sorts of things uh, because the book isn't just about uh, the crime itself or the criminal itself or even the victims it's also kind of about her it's like semi-autobiographical where she's talking a lot about why she got involved with true crime and why she got involved with this case in particular and how easy she felt it would be to solve and then after years and years of working on it you know it still remained unsolved so uh, for her super fascinating book really well written uh, as far as true crime books go this is probably one of the best written true crime books I've ever read uh, it's it focuses less on like the gory details and like the you know the titillation of like murder and rape and all of those things and has a lot more to do with like the people and their emotions the damage that was left behind by the east area rapist slash golden state killer and you know kind of the effect that it had on her life and you know the life of those people around her um it is a really good book i highly recommend it um you know, it, any chance that you can get to kind of delve into the, you know, into the hearts of human beings, it can be fascinating when well done. And this is definitely well done. So, I'll Be Gone in the Dark uh, by Michelle McNamara. Highly recommended. Really interesting book, uh, especially if you like crime fiction. Or not crime fiction, uh, true crime uh, books. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, of course, if you like this, be sure to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, uh, and uh, 
hit the little bell. Sorry, that was the other thing I was trying to think of so that you get notified every time we post a video. If you'd like to know more about our podcast, please visit us at www.totlb.com where you can find you know, basically links to all of our social media and the regular episodes of the show. This is Gabe. I'm in my car. Bye.